I was hesitant about making this video. But I have to make this video. It's just not leaving me. And I have to make it. So, there's a woman. And I know it's going to sound real strange, but there's a woman that's sleeping with her son. There are women that are grooming their sons as if that's their man. Um, and it needs to be exposed. It needs to be exposed that titles and labels that we put on people, whether it be mother, father, doctor, coach, lawyer, whoever, whoever, pastor, whoever, the labels that we put on people are just that. It's just a label. Okay. Sometimes a parental figure is called mom, but they actions don't line up with that. Sometimes a parental figure can be called a father or a dad, but their actions may not line up with that. And we are taught to want to, everybody wants to have a good story about their mother and their father, but it's not always the case. And I just don't want for someone to be out there and to be stuck in a situation because it's your mom or it's your dad, it's your aunt, it's your uncle, it's your cousin. But these people are hurting you. These people are mistreating you. These people are doing unspeakable things to you that you can't even speak of or you try to push out of your mind. That's how cycles and cycles and generational cycles of things keep going on and on and on. So, um, yeah, I'm talking about it. Yeah, I'm making a video about it. It's a mother out there that's sleeping with her son. And she wouldn't want nobody to know this. But it's going on behind closed doors. It's mothers and fathers out here grooming their children that they going to sleep with them or they planning on sleeping with them in the future. Okay. It's narcissistic parents out here. And if you don't know what narcissists, narcissists are, hey. It's a good time to learn. Google it. Google it. But I'm exposing it today because I was in prayer the other night and it came to me like in a voice. And I was like, did I, where did that come from, Lord? Like, you know, was that me or where did it come from? And. God was telling me that when he tells me something, he don't want me to keep coming back questioning what he said. He said what he said. So he been, he's been working with me on that lately. But yeah, 
I just want to let it be known and put it out there for the record that just because someone has a label on them or a title in your life, a teacher or whatever they could be, a neighbor, whatever they could be. Some children are, are raised to listen to what adults say and whatever adults say, that's right. But, you know, I pray that children have discernment to know that if parents or adults are wrong, they wrong. They wrong, they wrong. And that's not to say we can't forgive them, but if it's a consistent cycle and it's a it's a pattern and it and it keeps going on and it and it's it's bothersome and it's and it's too much then i i pray that the child the child or children that are affected by that type of situation will have the courage to come out from among them come out from among them because they have a different motive for your life Listen, another thing the Lord was telling me is that some of these parents are trying to use their children for the children to take care of them. Hello, somebody. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving it to y'all how it was given to me, but I also want to say this and then I'm going to go. We need to know that when you are a parent, God has given you an honorary position. That's a high position. Okay. Jesus, you remember the song? Jesus loves the little children. And those people that do children wrong, it's better to have a millstone around your neck than to mistreat a child. So what I'm telling you is whatever position you hold in leadership or whatever position you have, title you have, you will be held accountable. And just in case you think God is asleep or he don't see you, the devil is a lie. Parents will be held accountable. Doctors, teachers, whoever is offensive to one another and especially to children and to the children of God. Will be held accountable. So if you know that that's you and you fit in any of those categories and you woke up this morning, then God's grace and mercy was upon you another day and you heard this message, then you didn't hear this message by accident. If you heard this message, this message is for you. And this is your opportunity to repent with your whole heart, cry out to God and let God know that you sorry that you was wrong and to help you to not do those things again and to be better. Do you understand? So listen, y'all take this and, 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 and let it be, Lord, I pray that this word be rightly divided and it goes out to who is meant to go out to and it ministers to whoever is meant to minister to in the name of Jesus. I just think that sometimes, you know, children want to be with their parents so bad and it's overrated. They want to be with their mama so bad, even though they know good and well, their mama ain't hitting no, ain't hitting no much of nothing, but they just want to be because society says, you know, we, we supposed to have a, I mean, a mother, a mother. But listen, some of these mothers are not equal to what they title say. You understand? That's just like going in a store and you going to buy something. And whatever you buying is a uh, one thing. But then you get home and it's not that. God bless y'all. Have a blessed day.